Left-hand side, level with the penalty area. Then Juma faced by the two defenders. In towards Billing! Oh, into the back of the net from Phil Billing! What a finish! A left-footed scissor kick from the Dane. Freddie Woman was beaten, and the Cherries have broken through inside nine minutes. What a It's his fourth goal of the season, and Bournemouth first blood. What a fantastic goal that was. I mean, great ball in the box and, uh, yeah, great technique. And, uh, well, it's been a great start. Bournemouth have probably edged it and probably deserved the goal. Here's the corner then from Dan Juma, who's taken over set-piece duty since the departure of the injured Stanislas. An added time at the end of the first half here. Stanislas is ball into the near post. Slanky flicks and that Billing makes it two at the back post. Well, Steve Cook was flat on his face initially as the header came in from Dom Solanke towards goal. Billing was lurking at the back post. They go across towards Dan Juma. Who's claiming it? We're not sure. But what we do know is that Bournemouth have got themselves into a huge two-goal lead at the end of the first half. Here's Raquel May in space. Stacey again with another of his lung busting runs. Raquel May saw the headlines. Billing to the left. Denjuma can surely finish it. And Denjuma does. And the points of Bournemouth. Woodgate embraces his coaching staff as Denjuma smashed it into the back of the net. Three minutes left. Three down to the Cherries. Three huge points. Moving back within reach of the top six. Great strike there and great play again. Uh, Oh, it's a good job he scored because Jack Stacey made a great overlap and uh, I'd have gone mental at him if, uh, <laughs> if he didn't score. But no, that's a great finish and uh, he deserved his goal tonight. He's been a threat, Dan Juma.